Hey everyone, I am in Japan for the Tokyo Game Show. We are showing off a new game, Northplay, that I can't talk about yet. But um, that's not what I want to make a video about. I want to make a video about this place. Um, I am in Akihabara and it's just amazing. There's so much retro game stuff here. So I'm just going to go in and look at all the old game consoles, all the video games that I can get my hands on. Do you guys want to come? Let's go! So there's quite a lot of stores here. One of the most, I think probably the, the most popular one is Super Potato, uh, which is also priced thereafter. Um, but let's go check it out. They have lots of great stuff. What is this, Kesra? Welcome to Super Potato, the most overpriced, most popular retro game shop. Yay, overpriced! I can't. One of the highlights for any game dev who grew up in the 80s and the 90s is coming to Japan to buy old video games and old video game systems. Just in need of a, a loving hand. Looking for a game here. I just bought the uh, new Geo Pocket and the two games that they had for it. Okay, next stop, the actual goal of the journey. They, they wanted to see Hard Off. Let's show them Hard Off. Let's go rummage through some old shit. What are they talking about, junk? This is gold. And who knows what wonders it'll include? Probably something mm. illegal. Look at that. Other, other junk. There's some other junk. Mice? Anyone? They're cheap. They're cheap. They're a dime a dozen. Look at the Sega 7s. Little yellow. Are they not working? Is that why? What's, what's going on here? I think everything here is junk. It's cursed. It's cursed. Cursed PSP. Cursed PSP. I mean, they're, nice they're totally perfect. fixable, probably. It's, they're just looking for a little love. I love the music in here. It's banging. It's a little tune. Okay, it was mostly junk. On the hard off. Let's go look at some more junk. Look at this. Famicons for cheap. Oh, nice. just works. So we've moved outside of Tokyo to a, an area called Chiba, where TGS is, and uh, they also have hard off. Nice, let's go check it out. Supposedly, prices are somewhat more reasonable in this part of the, the country. Check out the PSP 1000. Look at the prices on this, that's whack. Look at the box, 64. Buy me, buy me, buy me. Okay, there's, there's a lot here. Let's find the Game Boys. Oh, here, 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 here. Oh, with the pocket camera. Oh, it's the, uh, the Game Boy uh, camera, the pocket camera, and the pocket printer. I might, I might get that. Okay, it's it's uh -oh. way cheaper here. I paid. I paid like almost twice as much for that. Yeah, but maybe this one has issues. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, you can get a DMG for six thousand yen. That's pretty good. Akihabara, you screwed us. What's this one like? This is what I paid six thousand for in Akihabara, and here it's eight hundred. It's the Pokemon Green. 
the Pokemon that was only released in Japan. But I don't know if this has replaced battery. No, but sh that's still a prime. That's that's, yeah. that's that's expensive. I'll, I'll have to spend some time in here. This is good. I'm so happy we went here. I want it all. Yeah, Sim City. That is that is a boxed wonderful one. Very nice. This is what the Wanda Swan games look like. Like these cute little... Sometimes they come in like with dust jackets. Right, it's 10 times cheaper than eBay, but... Yeah, it's... All of it is 10 times cheaper than eBay. But you so. can get it. There's a single... There's a single Game Gear game right there. I do not have a Game Gear to play it on. Here's the dust jackets I was talking about. They're pretty cool, actually. This one... Found a Game Gear, but the power doesn't turn on, but that could be fixable. Hey. Oh, I don't want to break it before you purchase it, mm. but yeah. Acid There's erosion, that. that is fixable. There's, There's rust in the better part, part, yeah. yeah. Turn on. Okay, but, that might be fixable. 4,400 yen, I'm, I'm gonna chance it. If not, I have a really cool display piece. What's this? Uh, Secret of Mana. Oh, nice. What a game. Look at them. Look at this. And it's a two, because uh, if I remember correctly, what we got is Secret of Mana here. What's the, the sequel, sequel to something, to else? something yeah. else? Yeah. I can't buy the whole store. Uh, okay, they're actually selling the Virtual Boy right there. Which is a fun collector's item, and it's boxed. We thought we were done. There's more. We're looking for Minuet Tetris, which is pretty rare. It's a version of Tetris that has a different music as that Minuet, uh, instead of the classic music. Um, and the, the one way that you can tell if it's a Minuet Tetris is if the spire, the tip of the spire, needs to be between the two L's, then you've got yourself a Minuet Tetris, which could be worth quite a lot. Because they're pretty rare. This one, though, very cheap. VHS tapes. Just what I was looking for. We've got the PS1s, got the PS2s, all of the Wii's, Xbox, Wii U. Okay, so I guess the takeaway is, if you're gonna buy retro stuff in Japan, move outside of Tokyo, outside of Akihabara, if you can, because prices are, I would say, almost half here. The cool thing about buying Game Boys is that they're not region locked, which means you can buy a Game Boy here and play your European or American games on it, or you can buy games here and play it on your European or American Game Boys. Uh, the only real concern is that, of course, most of these games are in Japanese, so, you want to buy games that doesn't require you to know how to read Japanese. Uh, which, I, I guess most arcade games, platformers, puzzles, that sort of stuff, is just totally fair game. Um, RPGs, Pokemon, things like that might be a little, a little more tricky. Okay, I may, I may have gone a little overboard, but I needed all of this. Every single item in here is... Clutching my pearls. So we found out that there's a book off very close to where we're staying in Chiba. So let's see what it can do. I mean, this might be nothing, but uh, you never know. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Super bizarre. Well, books you can't read. Books that I can't read. Get some video games that I can play. Should have video games. Vi video games. Yes. Okay. Video games. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, now. Oh. Oh. Look at that box. Oh. Super Mario Bros. 3. Boxed. Again, reasonably priced. The Famicom? Nintendo Gamer. Okay, retro games. Nintendo. Two hundred yen. 
Rocket. Uh, all these games are 200 yen. Then boy, then. Found a fellow uh, fellow traveler. Found something good. Exactly. Uh, exactly what you got here? Uh, 536 for the Super NES, nice. and uh, nice. Mario 64 and Mario Kart 64. Yeah. And I think you got other copies somewhere. Yeah, at, the, at these prices they're practically free. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like 12 euros. Yeah, it's like it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah, 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 it is, it is. But also really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah very fun. Very it's fun. like a treasure hunt. Treasure hunt, exactly. Yeah. yeah, how are you going to get this home? Like with the, because wouldn't you be afraid I, that I they... Things. Two big suitcases and okay. paid for the 23 kilogram. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Thing, fair you know? enough. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's full of consoles, so I just just have a few oh, space. Oh no! Fit some, you know, and last game. Can you like have amazing. them on your person as you go through security? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, no, no, no. Graphic designer. Me too. That's funny to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. I made, oh, no, I made, the, I made it I myself. The comic so, ah, yeah. you I made it. I made it myself. I am also a graphic designer. That's awesome. What kind of design do you do? I can show you maybe quickly. I have like nice clients and nice. sometimes I, I do personal oh, work, you know. I love it. So motion design, pixel design. You know. Nice. <laughs> and that's me. So, Perfect. I'm yep. following you. Awesome. Yeah. This is a gold rush. Like yeah, that's yeah, what we're doing. Yeah, this is a gold yeah, rush. Since the COVID, you know, ended. Yeah. And the price is uh, skyrocketed yeah. in, the, in the city center. Yeah. You gotta go to the. You could just buy away this whole store and sell it online if you were yeah, inclined. I'm not. I, no, no, something like this you would buy yeah, as a display buy piece. Yeah, like for five euros. Now you pay five. Yeah. 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 So look but at I mean, look, it? look at it's two thousand euros. It's, 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 it's fifteen euros, guys. Ridiculous. Euros. Yeah, yeah. In France, it would be one hundred fifty euros. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. I agree. This is one of the best games for the platform. Two hundred and seventy yen. <laughs> but maybe I need to find unboxed versions of these. I'm gonna go real quick to yeah, check out the, yeah, yeah. the Game Boy collection. I found a box. I love that we're just meeting other travelers that are doing the exact same thing as us. Like going to these places slightly outside of Tokyo to like find vintage video games and consoles. We got Wii, 3DS. Game Boy. That's every single item in any crossing. A must have. A must have for the collector. Junk pins. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Oh no. Yeah, no. Oh, I wanted it. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm not. That, that This is too big for my carry on. Yeah. <laughs> and the junk section is basically loot boxes anyway. Yeah. But pretty nice. That's a beautiful, beautiful piece of plastic. I hope you find a good home. Should have brought more luggage space. And I'm not buying a luggage, like a piece of luggage. To For the super scope. No. But also just in general, like just to limit myself. If I come home with an like a, an entire new bag, that's not gonna be popular. That's not a popular move. So I can take home with me what can be in my carry-on bag. Which was pretty empty when I arrived, to be honest. So, what happened to the, the music? Do, 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 do. I'll put it on the video. That was a pretty good haul, I would say. Bought uh, a bunch of Super Nintendo games and some DS games. There were no real Game Boy games there, but uh, the selection for uh, Super Famicom games were pretty good. Hard off every day. <laughs> On the hunt again today, look what we found. Let's go find us another book off. Here we go. PSP as far as the eye can see. I'm not giving a PSP. Like it in gold. Look at that cute Nintendo 64 Pikachu. It's actually a pretty one now. Yeah. This place has a lot of consoles. Wow, a lot of consoles. I really do want a PSP, but I, I'll wait. This place has a surprising amount of consoles. And here is the games. Found anything good? Uh, it's a selection. 
Nice. Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. Look, it's a Virtual Boy. With Mario Tennis. It's a nice little kid. Yeah, right. you already. It goes in the bin. Not many right Famicom version of Dr. Mario, yeah. I think, right? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of fun and it's in the Famicom yeah. case. Equal one. to the Kingdom Hearts it's thing in between the... one and two. Okay, okay, okay. Sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I played the Kingdom Hearts one. I loved it. Okay, we're going to tonight's second book off. And then we're done. Oh, it's right here. Is that a light? Uh, with scratches and dirt. Yes, yes. They all have. They all have that. They're old. So this is Rockman, which is Mega Man. More consoles. It's cheap. That's cheap for the SP. It's a DMG for 6,000 yen. It looks like it's in fine condition. What do we got here? Two pockets. Okay, done. We're done for today. No more shopping. We're finally here.